Hi, this is Peldi from Balsamic, and uh, today I'm going to wireframe a little bit of uh, onboarding helpers for um, the Balsamic Cloud Editor. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in Cloud. Let's um, just add it to the existing Cloud Wireframes project. Okay, so there's a section here about the editor itself. Okay, that's the menu. All right, we'll start with that. Uh, duplicate, and uh, we'll call it onboarding. I don't need any of this. Whoops. Yeah, I don't need that. Here we go. So let me delete the alternates. Okay. And uh, we'll put it here. All right. So the idea is to show a little bit of onboarding because we found that people um, don't notice the menus in the middle. And we put them in the middle because we want to save on. Um, vertical space um, we uh, went back and forth um, but we really wanted the breadcrumbs to stay on the left as you go in and out of the editor um, and the project name we wanted to keep it there too um, and so and then on the desktop the menus will not be here they will be just desktop menus right so the rest can stay the same um, and then it's a web app, it's not a desktop app, so you know, who says that the menus have to be on the left? But that's uh, where they used to be in our previous versions, uh, and so people are a little bit confused, they can't find them right away. But once they find them, then it sticks. So um, the idea is to uh, give them a little bit of a hint about uh, where they are. So what I, what people usually do is a popover. So the first time you come in, we can have a little something that says, uh, all right, here we go. Something like this. Welcome to Balsamic Wireframes, editor, go that big, and then um, here's, here's a few quick tips to get you started. The And then a skip tour, next. And this we would only show once. Uh, you know. Only show the first time. If you skip it, if you miss it, you miss it. That's fine. Uh, user, user, editor. Uh, save a cookie on there. Okay. I don't like the don't show again, the things that show it all the time because people never click the don't show again and they just uh, um, dot. I don't know if we're gonna have more than one step, we'll find out. Probably. Otherwise, it's just showing them that. Showing 
where the menus are, that's not very good. Okay. Um, So um, do we show here that's useful, that's uh, sort of new. Alright, let's first of all group this guy. I guess maybe we can show here, we can show... Project project mappers. No, oh, that's fine. Um, invite collaborators, make the project public. Better make this into a symbol so that I can I can just edit it. Um, mm, kind of progress. Okay, and here there we go. So I'm just overriding the symbol now, so that if I have to change the number, I can just do it once. All right, it's kind of big. Let's make it smaller. Smaller is less intimidating. In fact, I should maybe I should maybe make this whole thing a symbol. In fact, let me do it. Let me go do that. All right, break apart. Uh, ungroup. Make it red with the other ones. And then I'll just make the whole thing a symbol. Pop up. There we go. So now I can just edit this. that this one is wrong. That is better. Okay. Boop. Oh, let me do it again. Do that. Okay, now let's see another one. What do we want to show? Maybe the first thing we want to show is the is the how to get out. And how how you go back to your different projects or. To the home page or to your base page. To the cloud home page. To the Amazon cloud home page. Uh, 
about that. So that's number one. Just basically the breadcrumbs. And then number two will be this one. I like that it goes left to right. And then number three will be this one. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. All right. Welcome. Yes. Okay. Great. Next. Can you see this? Okay. That's where the menus are. Oh, here. Here's the menus. Here's how you share. Oh, la, 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 la. I think that's maybe enough to start because the rest they kind of know. The list of projects, plus they might. Uh, no, it's not going to be hidden. The default they're going to show. Let me see what we do in the docs. Uh, up, 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 up. Um, what do we show here in the introduction? No, this is more about editor overview. I think this is what I want. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. That's for people who've never used mock uh, the, our products at all. I don't, I don't know, it might be too much, it might be annoying. But, yeah, I don't know who, who we're targeting here. Um, definitely the, the immediate issue is explaining this new toolbar. I think that's enough. I don't want to annoy people. So let me edit the sources, this guy, and just make it three steps. Whoa, big error. It's still in beta, you guys. It's still in beta. We'll fix that. Just got an email about it. Do, 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 do. Everything is auto saved, so I didn't lose anything. Uh, I can do this. Uh, space out vertically with that, with that horizontal. There it is. Okay, back to wireframes. Onboarding, here we are. Ah, oh, I lost my color because I grouped it. My bad, my bad. Oh, too many clicks. And then this one says done. Okay, nice and simple. Welcome to the editor. Here's how you go back to, okay, so we put it here maybe, right at the beginning. 
across this note. Then this one goes in the middle, and this one goes to the right. Do we need a skip tour if it's only three steps? Yeah, because it's annoying. I, I realize that these are no these tours are annoying. Let's just do skip. Or close. Okay, that's it. I think that this is enough to give people who have very likely already used our product, who are checking out Cloud, a little intro on how Cloud is a little bit different. And it's small and, um, and not too annoying. And we only show it once. All right, I'll propose this to the team. We'll see what they say.